In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to check your audience retention on YouTube. So the first thing that you need to do is you click your channel icon and you go to YouTube Studio. The next thing that you'll need to do is go to the content tab. Now when you get here, you need to pick a video that you want to look at the audience retention. So if we go to this video, this video, for example, is one that is doing really well on my channel. And if we go to analytics, then we're going to get to this overview page right here. Now, the first thing that we need to look at is the overall performance of the video. As you can see on the blue line, this video performed better than my channel average. So it's a great video to look at because I was doing things the right way. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna scroll down here to this audience retention graph we have right here. Now, this video has been on my channel for a while, so it's no longer at 50% audience retention. But when it was released, it was about 51%, which is really good. And it's one of the reasons that even though the video has been up for a while, it's still ranking somewhat in search. Because if you scroll down here just a little bit, you'll see my video right here. So it's not ranking as high anymore, but it's still ranking enough so that it can get views. And that's because of the audience retention of the video. Now, there are a couple different things that YouTube will tell you about your video, and that is these segments right here. Now, before we dive into that, I wanna show you something. So right here, we have the different types of things that YouTube can tell you is going on with your video. The first is right here. So when the line on the chart is flat, it means viewers are watching that part from start to finish. So this is basically your continuous segments. These are really important to look at because this tells you that your audience is interested in whatever you're talking about. And the next thing we have is gradual declines means viewers are losing a bit of attention over time. So if you are gradually losing your viewers, then maybe you weren't doing a very good job explaining the information or you weren't doing the video in a very engaging way. So this is an important thing to look at. The next is is spikes. Spikes appear when more viewers are watching, re-watching, or sharing a moment or moments of a video. These are really interesting because this basically tells you that you either did something extremely right or this is something that you might want to make a video on. If I notice spikes in my graphs, it basically tells me this might be something that I should do in another video or I should make a video on this topic because my audience is interested in that information. And the last one is dips. Dips mean viewers are skipping or leaving your video at a specific point. These are a great way to see mistakes that you are making or when you're talking about information that is completely irrelevant to your audience. Now, if we come back to this video here, one of the reasons that this video is doing so well is the average view duration is four minutes. And I think it used to be five when it was first released. And so that audience retention rate and average view duration is key things in making a video successful in ranking and getting suggested. Now, if we look at the first segment, intro, which is highlighted here, you can see that people stopped dipping out right here. And what's interesting about this is I lost a good portion of my audience almost immediately in the video, but that's pretty normal. You can't keep everybody on your video, but the people that decided to stay, they stopped right here. And this is because my intro, I used a concept called social proof. And that's basically where you show that you've accomplished something or that you can do something, that you're bringing a particular result. And I showed my analytics. And in this video, I was talking about how to get more suggested video views. And because I was getting a lot and I was showing you my analytics, this was enough proof that my viewers, they stayed on the video and they kind of decided at this point that this was a video that they wanted to watch. Now, the next thing we have is the continuous segment. And right here in this video, I'm basically talking about search engine optimization. And what this tells me is that my audience is interested in SEO. And if that's true, and if you would like me to make a video on this, please let me know in the comments section below because I'd be happy to do that. And the last you have is a dip. And if we click on that right here, the dip was where I was making too many examples of ways that people cheat the system on YouTube. And I think what was happening is because I was making so many examples, you guys were getting bored. And so people were dipping out on the video. And it's just important to look at these dips so that you cannot do these things in the future. 
Now, another thing to think about when it comes to making videos that are gonna have a good audience retention rate is this video right here. I didn't use any calls to action during the video. I didn't have pop-ups asking you to subscribe or like the video or to leave me a comment or anything like that. I just focused on talking to you. And because of that, it may have been the reason why the audience retention was so good is because it was making an enjoyable viewing experience for my viewers. Now, one thing that's really interesting is this see more section. So if you go here, when this pops up, this is just a smoother display of your audience retention graph. And so you can look at that for different dips and peaks and things like that. But what we also have is right here, if you click on this little drop down arrow and you do relative audience retention, as you can see, there's this line right here that shows the average performance of similar videos. And you can see that my entire video is above that line. And that's one of the reasons that the video was ranking so well and that it's gotten a lot of traffic is because it was above average. And in some places like here, for example, we're really above average. So this part right here might be a really good part to look at and see what I was talking about and how how I was talking about it in order to learn maybe how to do that in the future. And right here, we can see I wasn't very much above average. So that might also be a good place to look at. And so basically all this information helps you know how to make better videos so that you can help your viewers get the information in the best way and enjoy your videos.